Hey everybody, guess who's back? It's been a long time. Um, I think the last upload I did was back in May. Um, but yeah, I kind of fell off a little bit doing YouTube, but I really wanted to film this one because um, obviously there's a new set out that you all know, Celebrations, 25th anniversary. And I found myself an ETB and I wanted to open it on the channel and showcase it a little bit. I'm sure you guys know all about this. Um, yeah, this is gonna be very nice. Let's crack this open. Um, I had on the channel a little bit ago uh, that I had surgery, like I had full uh, labor and repair, bicep tenodesis, like all in, in here and everything. Um, yeah, that was fun. That was a long recovery. I'm still kind of recovering a little bit, just strengthening. Um, my shoulder and uh, bicep and all that stuff. So you guys kind of know how the inside looks. A big old train on. So this is kind of cool. I think you get like 10 celebration packs. Um, yeah, 10 celebration packs. Some uh, five regular packs. Let's see, let's see here. I'm gonna flip this camera around. All right, much better. It's a little easier to showcase. Um, for you guys that haven't seen, I'm just gonna go through the little playbook, show you guys some, I, I apparently, um, obviously we all want the Charizard and stuff like that, but apparently the, this Tapu Lele right here is like one of the hard, or might be the hardest card to pull. I, I'm not sure. I don't see a lot of people pull it. I could be wrong. Um, yeah, these are all, this is part of the regular sets all the way up to gold mew which we all want um the big three really want that gyarados i want like obviously i want all these cards but shining magic card is really hard to get um uh, obviously gold star umbreon um yeah very awesome cards um a lot of these are based on like uh the competitive play and how the, how good they were back in the day so that is pretty cool. Um, let's get into this. Again, obviously it's been a while since I uh, posted anything. Um, but yeah, I always have fun. I always have fun doing this for you guys, opening up some packs. Ooh. All right, well, here, one, two, three, four, five. Look at that. All right, PSA 10, five. Here, I gotta get the rest of these packs. Okay. Ooh, chilling rain. Nice. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. Awesome. Now, deciding on whether I want to open these up or not, I might just open, might save that for another day. I might just open these celebrations. So, let's get into it. Let's see if I can get anything. Obviously, you get the fantastic gold star greninja this card is absolutely beautiful it looks even better out of this um plastic or yeah it looks awesome um the the hollow foil on that reminds me of uh like old schoolish. i really like the sleeves really awesome i'm just gonna give you guys the code card because i still don't play the game um, obviously you get all the energies, I know that how much that excites you guys, uh, the dice, it's really cool, and obviously these always look the same. For the ETBs, oh, and obviously you get the dividers. For the ETBs on the Celebration, the Pokemon Center ones, those ones are absolutely awesome, like, you get so much in there the dice are cooler yeah it's awesome let's get into this first pack first pack magic and these ones are a little harder to open just because there is only four cards in these packs so you got to be a little more gentle All right. and the chase card or the classical card 
will always be if you don't do the if you don't do a card trick, it'll be the third card. And then the regular set will be the last card. That's if you get like a gold Umbreon or something. Or gold Umbreon. Gold Mew. Reshram Hollow. Yvetal and Oh Lugia. Okay, nothing in this pack. And a flying Pikachu. Alright. I haven't opened up a whole lot of celebration. Um it's a code card. But um, I think the best card I've pulled so far is that uh, that Groudon, Team Magma, or whatever Groudon. That one looks sweet. I don't know what card I want the most. I do really want that shiny magic card. It looks awesome. Alright. Xerneas. Come on, let's get something good. Oh, Rocket Zapdos. All right. I actually already have this one, believe it or not. And, oh, Mew. That is a beautiful. That's That might be one of the best, if not the best, regular hollow uh, in the regular set. But this is awesome. There's a code card. Get this over here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, sleeve this up. Rocket Zapdos. Can't go wrong with anything rocket, you know? All right, here we go. Again, I know it's been a while, guys, but if you can please uh, consider subscribing. Um, I might try to start up the channel again, push out content as much as I can. Uh, times have been a little rough, but I will see what I can do. Velto and oh, uh, Palkia and ah, Professor's Research. Nice, this card is awesome. But yeah, let me know uh, if you guys can let me know in the comments if you guys want to see, uh, you know, more videos or just like anything in general, any type of sets that I haven't posted on the channel that you want me to kind of explore and showcase a little bit. Um, let me know or just like any cool things you guys have in mind i will try and do so these packs are really awesome they remind me of like the, the mcdonald's packs that came with the happy meals i think i think those i can't remember i think those packs had three cards three or four not sure the alga cosmog Rushram and a flying Pikachu V Max. Nice, 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 nice. I think I actually needed this one. All right, I think I have the the fatty surfing one. That is very nice. Good card. I'm gonna sleeve uh, this one up. I am working on a master set, as many other sets do, like Evolving Skies. And Chilling Rain, now Fusion Strikes coming out. Whew. It's hard to keep up. I know you guys know that. Alright. But apparently Fusion Strike, because I know originally uh, Cosmic Eclipse was um, the largest set in Pokemon history, but now Fusion Strike topped that off, I think, about 14 or 16 cards. Not many. But it definitely topped it off. Didn't still didn't hit number three hundred though. Oh, Claydol Classic Collection. All right, and Flying Pikachu, another one. All right, double banger. That was a perfect pack. There's the code. Go ahead and sleeve Claydol up. You know, I wonder. Uh, did any of you guys ever play this in one of your decks back in the day? Um, that's kind of cool to hear like stories like that with some of these older cards. All right. Really wish they would have put a uh, Shining Gyarados in here along with Magikarp. Oh, that would have been awesome. Or the um, like one of my dream cards, if not my dream card to have, is that. Uh, that gold star Rayquaza from 
Deoxys, I believe. Oh my goodness, I wish they would have put that in the set. Zekrom, uh, Lugia, and Lunala. All right, well, how many packs do we have left? We have four packs. All right. Yeah, guys, since, uh, since my last video, believe it or not, because, like I said, the last one, I think, was in the month of May of this year, 2021. So, since then, I've actually lost, like, 50 pounds, believe it or not, which is crazy. Um, it's been a huge grind. Xerneas? Oh, yeah, baby. Let's go. Mega Rayquaza EX. All right. And, oh, nice. Pikachu. I haven't had this one because I haven't opened up a lot of packs so far. Oh, that's awesome. Mega Rayquaza. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I have said this on the channel or not, but Rayquaza is... Um, it's so hard. My, like, my top three favorite Pokemon of all time is like Charizard, Rayquaza, and Gyarados. Um, and I also really, really, really love uh, Raichu. But I don't know what the order is. It, it, they fluctuate all the time. Ray might be one, Char, you know, they, they switch all the time, Gyarados. But that is really, really awesome. I think that's probably the best pool I've pulled so far out of all the packs I've opened. All right, let me, uh, and I've only opened, I think, one other ETB before this, and that was it, but I didn't, uh, film that one, and here's the code. All right, three packs, let's go. Yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this set so far. I really can't wait for, um, Fusion Strike. That set looks amazing, and all, all these alternate art cards, and now we just got word that the first set of the next of next year, I believe, is going to be Sword and Shield Brilliant Stars, and that's going to remind you a lot of Cosmic Eclipse because there's going to be some character cards. And wow, do they look fantastic! Pokemon doesn't give us a break, you know. <laughs> Groudon, I actually needed this one. I even had this regular Hollow, believe it or not. And oh, Venusaur, one of the original three. Yeah. <laughs> this reminds me just as a child, you know, as a kid. That's probably the last time I pulled uh, this card. And another flying Pikachu. And there is the code. Oh, man, this is awesome. Just memories. Memories of pulling this as a kid. Wow. That is... That's awesome. It's just such a nostalgic feeling, you know. That's always the best. And it's always best when you pull it. That is so cool. That's so cool. All right. Let's go. Can we get one more classic collection out of these two packs? That would be pretty sweet. So far, I am very happy with the pulls. Kyogre? Dialga? Ah, uh, Cosmone and... Oh my goodness, if we would've got a gold Mew. Woo! I'm a freak. All right, last pack, Magic Celebrations. Let's go. Come on. Let's get a Charizard. But I don't have luck pulling Charizards. I think the only ones that I pulled on the channel were like the regular rare or whatever from Vivid Voltage and Reverse. Um, but the best one I pulled was the Shining Fates one. Uh, I pulled Burning Shadows a couple months back. Didn't film it. I beat myself up all the time for it because that was fantastic. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. <sighs> oh, Rush Ram. Gold Mew. Gold Mew. Oh, okay. Alrighty. Well, that is that. Let me turn, give you guys the code, turn this camera around. All right. Well, that was a lot of fun. Um, I miss doing it. I, 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 I try to open up as much product as I can. 
Um, it's so hard sometimes to find uh, good stuff, especially with these sets. Um, it's crazy. I, I am really happy with the pulls. You know, I got that Venusaur. Oh, my favorite is that Rayquaza though. Oh, that's fantastic. So we got one, two, three, four. Four classic collections. Hey, not too bad, you know? Plus we got that Gold Star Greninja uh, promo card. So, now that is a fantastic promo card. That is, that is gorgeous. Um, the last promo card I really, really loved was maybe the Hidden Fates one. You know, the Eevee one was nice and stuff like that. The one in Champion's Path, that Charizard, I forgot about that one. That one was amazing too. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just let me know if you guys want me to start up again. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a good one. Later.